G'day YouTube. Clock bench here again with some more shenanigans. I have got two GDX 960s in my computer today. One is a 4 gig card, that's up one here. The lower one is a 2 gig card. We're going to be running Battlefield 6. The other 4 gig card will be powering the game itself. And the 2 gig card is going to be generating some additional frames for us in lossless scaling. I've had quite a few comments on the last video. And we're going to be trying a few different things to reduce the input latency because I was complaining about how bad it was. And Perez Coalton has suggested we bring the flow scale down to 75. Which it is. And set max frame latency to one. Where is the frame latency? There we go. To one it already is on one. And change the capture API to WCG, which I've done already done. So we're in Battlefield 6 here. The top GPU is the one powering the game. And the bottom one will be generating our lossless scaling frames. Now I've got the keyboard shortcut set up. So we can just enable it with a keyboard shortcut. Now the graphics settings we are currently running. Uh, FSR, performance, and the video reflex low light. Plus boost. And obviously everything set to low. Everything possible everything disabled that I possibly could. But it doesn't look that bad. So we're just sitting here about to go into a conquest map. And we will just enable loss of scaling here. Now I've integrated loss of the scaling with Afterburner. That was, that was fun to configure. Basically you have to go into hardware info and enable the uh, PLL so Afterburner can see it. Anyway, um, so I've just enabled loss of, loss of scaling and currently sitting on 96 frames in the foyer here. But for testing purposes, we're going to get into a match and start a match, and uh, we're going to take from there. All right, start of the HQ. Currently, in game we set our counter. We do not have lost, lossless scaling currently enabled. Yeah, just double checking our graphics settings. Every set performance. We can go to balanced. Set our counter. This is, I mean, this in itself is actually quite nice. Running quite well without lots of losses and scaling. But let's get a little bit closer to the action and um, see what happens. All right, let's enable losses scaling and see what happens Enemies here. are attacking Delta. Bro. All right, losses well, scaling is on. Right and it's showing 90 FPS. Let's give it a All run and uh, check out that input latency. Now those settings recommended by what's his name? Perez Coelton. Definitely seem to have a decent latency a lot. As you can see we put a load on our second GDX 96 in the 2 gig version. I only use 186 megawatts of the video memory on that car, so it obviously doesn't need a lot of video memory. 
to generate any additional frames. Let's go ahead and give this to solve the losses. And give three times multiply a go and check out the input latency even three times. Alright now we are on three times multiply and also scaling. Getting roughly 120, 130 FPS. We neutralize Delta. I can definitely feel a little bit more input latency there. The two times multi was actually quite quite nice. I could hardly notice it at all. Compared to the Hell Divers 2 video I did uh, yesterday. Input latency was quite notable. But with the settings Pip Perez has uh, suggested it's uh, a lot nicer. Alright, let's give four times a go. I'm not gonna hold my breath this one. I'm expecting a lot of input latency. Fifty, hundred fifty frames a second. Yeah, after burner overlay started to glitch a lot, and the input latency is very noticeable. We're up to around 80, 85 frames a second. And I think we're on balanced. If it's our balanced. Yeah, balanced. Let's go to quality. See how that is. So the two times multiplier is definitely playable. It's, it's almost not nice at all. In terms of input lag, it's quite good. Running on that second GDX 960 